Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and it's time for new sights for the SIG. So I have a SIG P320 and we're just going to put some new sights on it today. I've already removed the rear sight with a sight pusher. I didn't show that because that's kind of a specialized tool. Really, if you want to do this at home, you're going to need some kind of punch. I use a non-marring nylon punch. I'm going to try to use that to drive the front sight out. This is on a SIG P320. Okay, that nylon punch didn't work, so I upgraded to an eighth inch punch and it came right out, no problem. Here is the P320 slide, so as you can see for both of them, they're just grooves in the front and the rear, so those drive out and in pretty simply. I'm going to get some alcohol, I'm going to clean this up with just some rubbing alcohol, and uh, then I will install the new sights. Okay. So I cleaned it up with some rubbing alcohol, a little bit of a brass brush to try to brush off some of the gunked, gunked up glue on there. But I think it's good enough, so we're just gonna roll with it. All I do here is wrap a towel around it so that I protect the finish of the slide. You don't have to do that if you don't want. I'm just gonna drive that front side in the same way we drove the old side out. Make sure that you have the dot facing the rear where it's supposed to go. Okay, the front sight is about centered. We'll do the rear. You could also use a rear sight pusher. In this case, I'm just gonna drive it in. Make sure the dots are facing the rear as they're supposed to be. I overdrove it a bit, so I'll move it back. Okay, on this particular site, there is a set screw here in the bottom, so we'll just tighten that down with a tiny Allen wrench. In general, it's mostly centered. I'll probably double check it off camera here to make sure that I'm centered. You probably have a better view right now than I do. So once those are centered up, I'll set that set screw, and that's it. That's installing the sights on a SIG P320. Pretty easier, easier than a Glock actually because there's no bottom screw. On a Glock there's a bottom screw on the front sight and a lot of times that can get stripped out. So just drive them in. If you have a set screw, set it. Make sure they're in the middle of the slide. That's all I got. Do brave deeds and endure.